Hill. It's that time of day again. Another game on the old baseball field with our fellow heavy hitters team. And now that the weather's getting a lot more warmer and warmer each week, it's given us a chance to have more baseball games and other outdoor activities more often. And the best part is that I don't see any of those sneaky troublemakers around. So today is the perfect opportunity for an old-fashioned baseball game. Now if only we brought some baseball bats and a baseball with us when we were getting prepared. No need to worry about that. When I called up the rest of the heavy hitters, they said they were going to bring all the equipment we need for the game. And according to my calculations, they should be here at any moment from now. And right at the moment you said that we have arrived to the field, all prepared for today's game. There you guys are. Sounds like you six are in a great mood for our first game in April. And we got all the equipment that we would usually need for any sort of baseball game. Great. Just what we need for all the fun we're gonna have. So, you guys ready for this? You truly for sure we're ready to have all sorts of fun. So let's now play ball. You have got to be serious right now. Those three have left the house for another baseball game. Yes, children, you're going to have to deal with it. Who said you could be in the video, Junior? You know you're breaking the fourth wall, right? Just do me a favor and get out of my sight. Jeez, you don't have to be so rude. I can do what I want, Junior. You know what? I am going to the baseball field, and I'm going to shut this down once and for all. And I just have the perfect idea to do that. <laughs> this is where those people are right now. Good luck trying to make me get a strike, Villa. I'm so going to get this ring like how Rocky would tell me to be brave. Oh, really? We'll see about that, Hank. Be prepared to hit the baseball. Good luck. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. That whale just made the ball fly out of the field. How amazing. Well, if Hank can hit the ball like a pro, then so can I. Here goes. Whoa, what the? Gasp, eek, whoops. H-H. Ouch, that really hurt a bit, but at least my baseball cap was able to protect me. Seriously, Toad? What is your deal? Why would you jump scare Baby Shark like that? He could have gotten hurt if he wasn't wearing his baseball cap, or if the ground was hard and not soft. Don't ever do something like that again, mister. Well, I'm not a doctor, so it's not my problem. And where did you get that attitude from? You don't ever talk back to us like that. That is just plain rude. What brings you over here anyway? It's not like you can just burst onto the field for no reason, like what you just did just now. Well, I do have one good reason. I'm here to shut down this entire baseball game. Nope. Not gonna happen. You may not shut down our baseball game at all. You are not our coach. You'll need to become one in order to do that. Oh, too bad. I do what I want and you do what I say. The same thing goes for you, whoever is watching this video. You do what I say because I do what I want. Understand? Good. Hey, stop breaking the fourth wall and forcing the viewers to listen to you. You're not an evil villain. Now cut it out before we're gonna have to call your parents. No way! You're gonna do what I say and end your baseball game this minute before actions take place. Toad, this is your final warning. If you can't act right, we're gonna need to send you home. Now, cut it out. That's it. You will ask for it. Take this for your trash, people. Hey, excuse us, Toad. Don't you think about it. Put that machine down or else. Oh, 
My God. Toad, 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 what on earth is wrong with you? We can't believe you use a baseball launcher to smack us in the faces with a bunch of baseballs. Who in the right minds would give you such a wonderfully horrible idea? Yeah, we didn't think so. And we could have gotten bad headaches if you smack us with even more baseballs. You're very lucky that didn't happen. And because of all of the bad stuff that just happened, you are declared grounded. Grounded. For a total of six weeks after your no good nonsense. And we're gonna call Bowser and alert him on all the trouble you just caused today. Plus, Plus no, no TV, TV video, video games, games or, or any treats, treats until, until further, further notice. notice. Now, now go home and go upstairs, upstairs to your room. room. Right. right. Now. Now. Uh... Now that takes care of that troublemaker for now. Now we can resume the game now that Toad is heading home now. And we can assure that no other troublemaker is gonna ruin our time for now. So let's head back onto the field and resume the baseball game once again. <laughs>